Hey bitches, it's Merrick, and today on the menu is a mukbang vlog. So this is my very first mukbang vlog. In a previous mukbang, I asked you guys if you want to see me do vlogs in public inside a restaurant, and most of you guys said yes. So that's why I am doing it today. As I stated in that video, I generally am very nervous about filming in public just because I never know how well it will be received, how well it will be taken. Today is a Saturday which means the restaurant might be a little bit noisier because more people are dining out so I do apologize for that. I will be with my family so if you hear lots of chatter around me that's just my parents, my aunts, my uncles, my grandma talking in Cantonese in the background. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we have just arrived at the restaurant. Oh, you guys can continue talking, ignore me. I'm just telling my parents and my aunts to continue talking while I vlog. Um, so I just poured some tea. Usually at like Chinese restaurants, they give you complimentary tea, especially if you're Asian, but like if you're white, they'll probably give you ice water. And I also, we also got some complimentary peanuts. This is a very, um, it's very typical in a Chinese restaurant. They give you like peanuts for some reason. And yeah, it's just peanuts with salt on it. I think it's like an appetizer to get you like more, um, get you more willing to like eat for you, like get your appetite ready and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna try some of the peanuts right now. Just for a change in my It's like typical peanuts with salt on it, nothing that special, but. You know what? I'm not gonna complain about free food. Cheers, you guys. Also, it's extremely hard to use chopsticks. Sorry, I literally spat out peanut. It's also really hard to use chopsticks to like pick up peanuts. In elementary school, I remember there were like contests where you had to use chopsticks to like pick up marbles from a bowl to like celebrate Chinese New Year's or something, and I obviously failed at it. But yeah. So this is what we ordered. Ordered. We got the three course pick and duck skin dipped. I'm not sure what skin dipped means, but I hope it's good. So it's skim dipped in sugar and garlic sauce. Uh, pancake. Interesting. Oh, I know what they're talking about. I'll show you guys later what the pancake is. It's like a wrap. It's like the meat wraps, kind of like a rice wrap. And then this is meat with a lettuce wrap, the second course I'm guessing. And then the third one is a duck broth. And we also ordered one um, side dish of steamed rice. If you guys have never had a picking duck course before, it's um, it's pretty unique. Basically, they take one duck, they take one duck, and they make three dishes out of it. So they take the bones for like the stew or the soup, they take the skin for like the uh, wrap later on, you'll see and then they take the meat for like a stir fry. It's pretty interesting, pretty resourceful, and I think it's good value for your meal, right? Because it's one duck and then you have three different dishes. So these are just some veggies to put into the wrap later, and that's like a seafood poison sauce, I think. And the sauce and the veggies just go into the wrap. And then right now, she is just cutting the duck for us. So as you can see, they're just taking all the skin off. And then this is the wrap that I was talking about. I think that's what they mean by the pancakes. And yeah, she's just gonna cut away, cutting all the skin off, and she's gonna return into the kitchen with the actual meat or the carcass of the duck to make some stir fry and some soup. So yeah, like I said, one duck, three different dishes. 
Look at that huge knife though. Like you can totally cut someone in the stomach if you wanted to. And we're just gonna flip the duck over. Oh yeah, we got like one of the wings right there. Mm. Looks delicious. Okay, so this is basically the first course of the pecking duck. I told my, ta my entire table to stop talking while I explain how to make this. So this is a pancake thing they were talking about on the receipt. And it's basically like a thin, um, it's like a thin dough thing, kind of like a tortilla chip. And you just like put this on your, um, on your plate like that. You go for some of the hoisin sauce mix. Very, very delicious. And then you just like scoop it all over your little tortilla wrap. Like how I like to equate it is like a Chinese tortilla wrap basically. It's like a tortilla wrap but like more Asian tasting. And then we want to go for the good stuff next which is obviously the picking duck skin. So very very juicy. Look at that lighting though. Like oh my god I'm living for this. Living living living. You put this into your wrap and generally you want to put some vegetables in there but like I personally don't like vegetables, so I'm just going to stick with my meat and my wrap. So you want to wrap it up, fold it once, fold it twice, fold it three times. It's hard to do with one hand. And then you shove it into your mouth right now. Cheers, you guys. Take a bite. Mm. It's so good. It wants like whispering around me. I feel so bad. Mm. This is how it looks like. We got the duck, nice crunch to it. Mm, oh my god. It has like an Asian tang to it, I would say. But like the duck meat is like very, very juicy, which is nice. And everything's like inside a wrap, so it's like very convenient to like just stuff into your mouth. Last piece. So this is the second course of the meal. It's a soup course. Uh, so in there we have some tofu, we also have some lettuce. And this was made with um, the picking duck bone. So the uh, flavor of the picking duck is infused inside. Let's take a sip, shall we? Mm. It's really good. Okay, so the very last course just came and it's the lettuce wrap. So the lettuce wrap actually pairs with this dish right here. And this is like duck meat, it's minced. We got the duck and also some red peppers, green onions, and then this is like the duck bones. It's a pretty nice presentation. So what you do with the very last dish is you just take a lettuce wrap, got the lettuce wrap, plop it onto your plate, and then we want to go for a little big spoonful of the minced duck meat. That, that looks like a pretty good amount, I would say. And you just plop it onto your lettuce wrap. I feel like my proportioning is like very terrible. We have like huge lettuce and like a bit of the meat. Maybe I'll grab a little bit more just to be safe. Okay, come on, come on. Here's a close-up shot. Okay. So more into the lettuce wrap. We fold the lettuce wrap up, just like the Chinese tortilla wrap. And then, there we go, we have our lettuce wrap. Cheers, you guys!
I'll leave your face up, but tell people that. What did you just say? This is messy food. <laughs> Why is it messy food? <laughs> you have to eat <laughs> like, with the food dropping down. I know, right? Yeah. So we just finished our meal and looks like another table ordered the exact same thing as we did. So obviously it is a customer favorite here. Okay, so usually at the end of the meal you get like complimentary desserts and if you're like not Chinese this might look very very weird to you but it's kind of like a soupy dessert. This is a red bean soup. It basically has red beans inside and then there's lots of like I think it's called like rock sugar in English but yeah they put rock sugar and they boil it up over a few hours and it becomes this goodness and yeah usually it's complimentary which is nice um they alternate between different types of dessert soups like there's like a white one and there's like a purple one the purple one is like yam or yeah it's like yam based or taro based but yeah this is the red bean one so i'm gonna try it right now take a spoonful you guys got it open wide okay mm. That's good. I gotta admit, it's like not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of red bean. I personally like the white one because like the white one is sweeter and I like really, really sweet foods. But if you're into like a dessert that's less sweet, more earthy, more Asian tasting, I definitely recommend the red bean one. Mm -hmm. And I would say this is probably the alternative to a fortune cookie. Like I know a lot of Asian restaurants or like a lot of Chinese restaurants, if you're Asian, they give you like this soup dessert. And if you're like non-Asian, then they give you the fortune cookie. So yeah. Alrighty, so I am back home now. I am done my three course pecking duck meal. It was very, very delicious. If you guys are wondering how much it was, including the three courses, the complimentary peanuts, and also the complimentary dessert soup it came out to a total of 80 canadian dollars that's roughly 60 dollars us and honestly we had four people with us and it could it could have easily fed five and we also had a group bond so we saved like 20 dollars, which was amazing we actually took um, a lot of the remaining stuff home just because we couldn't finish it and we didn't want to waste any food that's pretty much it for my for my very first mukbang vlog how did you guys like it did you guys like this vlog if you did i would be very very happy to film more of it honestly i have not imported the footage yet so i don't know how the lighting is i don't know how the audio works was and the framing as well so that leads me to the question of the day I have for everybody my question of the day for this video is do you want to see more mukbang vlogs do you want to see more mukbang vlogs from me this is my very first one again so hopefully it went well enough for you guys to want to see more if you do i would be very happy to film more for you guys thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed already i film mukbang and asmrs every single week i'll link all my past videos on the screen right now and until next time that was your daily dose of a hot mess bye bitches Thank <laughs> you.